Check them things out. Good buck. Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Today I am selling my antlers. Um, my partner that I work with has an antler buyer. He's coming to town. And uh, we are gonna grade and weigh and sell all these antlers that I have been collecting and buying over the last, oh, this is about the last month or so. Uh -huh. There they are. All the deer in the front, all the elk in the back, stacked to the ceiling. So it's gonna take us a couple hours to go through and grade them all and weigh them and count them and make sure everything is there and accounted for, but um, it's gonna be a good day. Gonna get paid for about the last month's worth of doing work and uh, well, it's gonna be fun. Well, here we are. I drove a couple hours this morning. I got a day and a half to shed hunt. The weather's been kind of crummy, but actually kind of how I like it. I'd rather have it cold a little bit, way better than hot. I can go so much harder and don't have to worry so much about rattlesnakes. But I'm walking up into this spot. I'm just kind of heading up the ridges and started reflecting on some stuff, man. Mother Nature, she can be cruel, you know? There's no doubt about it, and uh, there's a lot of things in nature that are cruel. There's mountain lions, and they kill the deer sometimes. And I always just wish that these deer could get a couple more years on them, you know? Let them grow up a little bit, and then uh, you wouldn't end up with stuff like that. As you guys know, those are the keys of speculation when you find a deadhead. You got to do all that stuff. He's hard white and he's kind of a cool, heavy, kind of tall deer, but I don't think I'm going to be taking him home. Probably not worth the hassle. Well, I've been walking for quite a while, about an hour or so. Um, just kind of trying to figure this country out. It's kind of some middle elevation stuff. These bulls winter around here somewhere and you always find little pockets of them. Um, but I just picked one, just found an elk shed finally. It looks pink, but uh, I'm gonna walk up here and let you guys see. Looks like a raghorn. Hard to see him in that snow like that. Yeah, a little raghorn four point. Better than a stick in your eye. <sighs> Kinda old, but sweet. Well, that at least gives me a clue that there was a bull that wintered here at one time. Deer shed. <clears throat> Working my way up through some good looking stuff. A ton of rubs and sign. That's a really heavy, heavy horn. He's got a little chewed on him, but he's pretty good looking. I always feel like I'm like, not fo focusing on the camera. I'm just like bobbing my head around looking for the other side all the time. Really heavy four point. Pretty shed. It's always encouraging because it means that you might be in some fresh country. Pick this puppy up. Old. Pretty cool. Got onto this hill and found some feed that they like. I had a feeling it was gonna 
happen here. There we go, hard white. Kind of a cool, heavy bowl. Oh, he might be chalk, but he's close. So there, that's the first decent elk corn of the day. Hopefully I'm into them and I'll keep finding some more. So there's a technique that not, not too many guys know about and uh, it's called calling for sheds. You can actually call in antlers. Uh, you, all you have to do is you have to say some of your favorite shed hunting cliches and hashtags. You just yell them out to the world and then uh, the sheds will come to you. Stuff like, bone zone! Or like, shedicated! Something like that. See, I was just doing that right now. And check this out. Boom, it worked. A white sixer right there. I told myself I was gonna hike for an hour, then I gotta head back for town, so uh, that's at least one of my little morning hike. You guys, I tell you all the time, I'm not a deer guy, I'm not a deer guy, I'm not a deer guy. I just lost my shiz <laughs> when I saw this right here. Look at that set, baby! Side by side. Check them things out. Good buck. Go check them out. I haven't even been up to them yet. Oh, look at that hook cheater off the back. Yeah! Look at that thing. Yeah, baby! Bladed out on the back end. Oh my goodness, I don't usually get that pumped about deer, but that has a freaking, oh, he's got a cheater there too. Yeah! Oh, man. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm so excited about that. Check these things out. Another little bit of poundage on the way out. Not a bad little hike, actually. I really only had uh, about two hours. I got that elk shed, that gnarly deer set, and that elk shed. So I'm pretty pleased, actually. Now I'm gonna head back for town. Well, maybe I'll get another one on the way. I'll head back for town and take my boys on a camping trip. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of what this set looks like. Pretty good buck. Got that big long hook cheater on him and big deep forks, good mass. That's one we need to find and get killed out here. Weems. Weems. <laughs> Pretty good deer set.